Holy crap, come on, guys. Oh, my gosh. Five minutes left. Oh, my God. Are we actually going to hold it off? Are we going to hold it off, guys? Less than a minute left. Oh, Pacioretty gets the empty netter with 12 seconds left. And that will do it. The Montreal Canadiens will be your Stanley Cup champions. What a year it was here in Montreal. Beginning of the season started out pretty rough. We were last in the division. We made some tr changes, started creeping back up to 500, made some more trades at the deadline, went on an absolute tear, made it into the playoffs, went past the first two rounds with not too much of a problem, faced adversity against Pittsburgh in the conference finals, came back down 3-1 to to beat them in game seven, and then we won the Stanley Cup in six games. My goodness, my goodness, but comes at a price. We put a lot into that win now period a lot into it so it's a bit bittersweet we may we may have to change things up here we're not going to bring back certain guys and other guys are going to be on the decline pretty soon so we have to make that hard decision where it might be time to start trading away some of these guys that helped us win the cup so that we can rebuild and come back and build you know a stronger team i'm not going to say this team's not strong but it's a strong team, but we don't have anything else. We have no AHL team. We pretty much have nothing. So what we're going to do here is we're going to do the draft, get into the re-sign. We'll have to start making some decisions here. But I'll, I'll, I'll of course, leave it uh, leave a lot up to you guys as well. Let me know your opinions. But, like, first, let's get to the draft here. All right, for retirements, we have no one who's retired. So that's cool. I didn't think anyone would retire. We didn't really have any of those kind of players who would retire. All right, but let's check around the league here. Hosa's gone. All right, Zetterberg, Gabrick, Cavalieri, Pominville. All right. Let's see who else. Uh, Bo Meester, uh, Stoll, Erhoff. Paul Martin's gone. Boshaman's gone. Justin Williams, all right, he's gone. And is that pretty much all the big names? Yeah, McLeod, no one cares about him. Uh, yeah, that takes care of just about anything. All right. Let's see. Any goalies? I don't know about... It could be a couple. Yeah, yeah. It's, okay, yeah. Craig Anderson retires. All right. Yeah, it's about time. Uh, then Delorier and Donnie don't really matter. I think... Wait, was he... I think this guy was actually on our team. In our AHL. Oh, wait. Not quite. No, maybe not. I might have been because I didn't check goalies. So, yeah. Anyway. All right. So, that takes care of it for retirements. I don't know why I went back to there. I could have just pressed B, but whatever. All right. There's all the retirements. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. And now... We got the draft. So, again, not too many assets. We didn't hold on to too much with that. That's all right. Um, the next few few drafts are going to be our big draft years. So, um, yeah, I think we're going to be we're gonna be last pick. So, we'll just well, – I mean, we don't even have a first. So, there you go. All right. So, sim to user pick here. It should be somewhere in there. I forget what picks we have exactly because we did trade a lot of assets away to make it work. But you know what? It worked. It uh it was cool. some it was questionable a lot of the trades that we were making at points but you know what uh we we all stuck with it and um, we knew what we had to do to get the job done we got the job done but now it's time we got to build back up basically because we did we put a lot in there um so we we had to go all in because we weren't we weren't that kind of team who could just be built to keep making the playoffs and then oh man maybe we'll win holy crap yeah all the way to the fifth round. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> oh yeah. Alrighty, let's see if we can pick anyone up. Some uh, defenseman here, De offensive defenseman in this area. I don't think so. But HL tops. Nope. There's a power forward. I see a defensive defenseman with some interest. Uh, there's a defensive defenseman with high interest. So I'd rather go after the high interest guy, most likely. Yeah, we'll we'll see what he turns out to be. Defensive defenseman. What are you, Tucker? Yeah, red top, AHL top two, terrible. All right, <laughs> I don't know. There's probably not going to be anyone here, but that's all right because this is all the still the uh, normal kind of drafts. I don't know what I'm saying. Like not normal, but uh, non-computer generated. So basically, in your this next year is going to be the big big drafts, like where you can find pretty damn good players. Like it's it's the beginning of uh, the reset type thing. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Um, Another AHL top two. You know what? For a defender, I might take that. If he's like green or something. Yeah, if he turns out to be like green, he might be... I didn't even see. 
and I can't go. Yeah, I have to go like all the way like this. I doubt he'll be green. No, there's no way. Yeah, he's yellow. Okay, yeah, these this so yeah. Again, another crappy draft, but that's all right. I'm just seeing if I can find any gems. I highly doubt it because it's been really bad, but whatever. We didn't have any picks anyway. Whoever got our picks didn't get much. So yeah, all these guys are like HL guys. But we're, you never know, man. You never know what you can find sometimes. Uh, there's a goalie. I'm just going to go straight for the goalie because sometimes late they can be decent. Or at least better than the forward counterparts. You could uh, get better value. HL starter? I don't think so. It feels like a backup. That would have been all right. But yeah, HL starter. I mean, you never know, though. He's yellow, though, so it's not great. All right, so there was our three players that we got total in this draft. But, yeah, we've uh, we've definitely we, we sacrificed the future for the present during this period. So now if um, is the time where we'll have to kind of go through it. And, I mean, we don't have a choice. With some players, like Duchesne, we just are not going to be able to resign the dude. Like, when it comes down to it, we're not going to be able to resign him at all. Like, if you look at how much he's going to want compared to other guys that we'll need to sign, like Lilius. It's going to be tough here. It's going to be like, we have 33 million to work with, be sure. But look at, look at who we got to sign. Uh, Pacioretty, Duchenne, Galchenyuk. We're getting Galchenyuk back no matter what. He can't go anywhere. No, no. This is our, this is our future right here. Galchenyuk's coming back. Pacioretty, I don't know. Um, he's on the fence. But Duchenne, plus that morale, he seems to have morale trouble on this team. And through a rebuild, I wouldn't try, like, it's, uh, I would rather keep Galchenyuk for sure. Like, uh, Edler, nah, I would probably, Skinner, we can hold on to for a while, yeah, as a spot filler, but eventually we'd have to trade him, because he's 27 now, by the time we're getting back in the playoffs, he'll be 30, pushing later, and I kind of wanted to, and like, sure, he'll be decent for a couple years, but then he'll start to decline when we need him not to, you know, so, again, that's someone else who'd probably be leaving, Deno, we need back, no question, he's a good that, that guy you can keep, because even when he turns 30, when we're in the midst of our playoff runs, he's playing depth, that's perfect, we need veteran, we need more veteran depth than anything, um, Lekkanen, we gotta keep, I'm hoping he'll get another jump, he played amazing in the playoffs, uh, Bolu, yeah, we can hold on to, he's a top six guy, if, if anything, so we'll hold on to Bolu, he's got decent defensive stats, as I remember, uh, yeah, he does, so that's a good top six guy, listed to be top six, looks like he, looks like we never got him to grow too much, but that's all right, um, him as a top six, it doesn't bother me too much, Gunnarsson as well, he's 32 though, but at the same time, we'll need spot fillers, so, an older guy, if he wants to sign, he'll, he'll work as a spot filler, McCarron, we gotta get back, same kind of story as with, uh, um, what's his name, Deno, so we gotta get those two guys back, the younger guys, we gotta get back, Terry, uh, no, I mean, we could, we might need him as a spot filler again maybe a spot filler uh flynn he's not happy lynn we gotta get back or gotta sign sure back we have to oh man i'm kind of that kind of sucks about his uh yeah that kind of sucks yeah it was tough to get him good because our hl team was never going to be good yeah so again it sucks in, the, in certain ways but you know what whatever we won a cup, man. We did. We did. That was our goal in the first three years to win a cup. Now we can rebuild. So we might have to like hard rebuild because. So like Sherback, I don't think he's gonna turn out to be much. At twenty three, not even eighty overall. I doubt he's gonna turn out to be anything like a top six guy. So, yeah, we we got him up to the. I mean, he, we'll. I'll probably sign him just because he's not happy. If his morale boosts back up, he'll be in his you know maybe eighty one again, and then we could try to get him better. But I don't know. Um, I'll still I'll do that. But first things first. What I want to do for sure, all right, so first thing, we got to sign the guys who we know we need to sign. Galchenyuk, eight years? I would not be opposed to that, to be honest. Eight years would take him up to, okay, I could get him for a bit less, though, to be honest. Take him up to 32 or 33. Or we could do five years and play it a bit safer, take at least until he's 30. 30 wouldn't be too bad. Five years, we could lock him down. And it'll also be movable in case something happens to him. Because I don't want to make an eight-year commitment and then have, like, something weird happen where he just, like, sucks after he turns 27. Yeah, so we'll give him five years, uh, till, take him up till he's 30. And it's still a movable contract. So five years, we could probably get him for six mil flat for five years. Maybe even less. But I'll get him for six mil flat for five years. Because that, ugh, yeah. That'll be decent for... Actually, I'm going to try to get him as cheap as possible. I know it sounds fucked up, but whatever, man. I'm going to try. 5.750 for seven years. That might not work, but I'll try it. Uh, Patch ready. I kind of almost want to get him back just because... I know he's 30, but he's a power forward. 
And maybe it's a bit of the nostalgia thing. We, we get him back, hold on him. Even if he starts declining, we can use him in the depth. You guys can let me know about that, but uh, I'm not going to... Oh, shit, dude. Yeah, Duchesne. That's... I'm trying to think why he isn't RFA. I'm actually trying to comprehend why he isn't RFA. I told what the hell didn't we didn't we we acquired him from Colorado. We didn't have to sign him at any point, did we? If we did, remind me. But I don't think we. I thought we got him for Colorado. He had a few years left, and then he should be RFA. I don't know. Mm, that's a bit weird. Maybe because we traded for him. I don't know. Actually, that's that's a bit weird. Now we're gonna actually have to sign him to be able to trade him. Because I was, I was thinking we could tender him and then we'd pick up some picks. But uh looks like we're going to actually have to sign him. So that makes our job a bit harder, to be honest. Yeah, and then we can't we can't even tender Patcherette. What the fuck is going on? Interesting. Okay. Uh, Skinner, same kind of thing. Edler. Yeah, it's a bit weird, actually. Okay, so... All right, we're going to have to sign as many guys as we can then to try to, yeah, to try to trade them then. Yeah, I got to save as much money as possible. Now, sure back, we might just have to tender then. Um, I don't know. Audette, Barrett. Um, Audette, probably not because he's 70. Uh, he's already 23, but Bear, maybe. I don't know. Maybe. Buchek, not quite ready, but we could sign him to see. Really weird. Hmm. I don't know. I'm still trying to comprehend why the hell he's a UFA when we... I don't know. I feel like a long-ass... Oh, whatever. Whatever. Um. All right. So... Okay. Let's let's begin here. Okay. We're going to side patch. How many years? He wants like six years. Oh, man. I don't want you for that long, dude. Oh, man. Yeah. All right, Duchesne, hopefully only want, he's going to want it long. He wants a freaking long. Oh, but he does not go up that much when we get him that. So let me get him. I'll do two years, and that's movable. And we can get him for less money. We could probably get him for around the same price as we got. What's his name? Maybe not, though. Well, we'll do two years for six mil flat on him. Okay, we'll do that. So that'd be, that'd be 12. Around 12 mil so far for Pacioretty. We're going to have to... Yeah, at least sign him. To, oh, that's so long. That's a lot. That's quite a bit of money. And it's got to be movable, so I'll hold off on him. Edler, uh, if we can get him for a year, then I'd trade him. Sign to trade, that's tough. Skinner, have to get... Uh, he's Yeah, he's uh, like in between, but... Oh, we can get him for pretty cheap, though. If we go to like three years, take him up till he's 30, that's movable still. And it will probably want to hold on to him a bit, maybe. We'll see. All right, so we'll do that for 5.25. We could probably get him for maybe a bit too much. Maybe 5.35. We'll try that. Okay, let's do that. And let me advance a day real quick and see what we have to work with. Because, yeah. Bit unfortunate. I thought, hmm, I don't know. I'm still, maybe it was, I don't know. <laughs> I thought because of how long Duchesne was signed for, it'd be, uh, there we go. Accepted, accepted, accepted. All right, so we got all those guys back. Now, we should still have around 15. 18, okay. There we go, 18 mil to work with. Uh, Dano, we're going to want back for sure. How much is he going to want? Yeah, he wants a bit of money. Doesn't go up too much, so he looks like he's sticking around a third liner, which is fine. Um, let's see if we can get into the least amount. It would be two years to sign him for. Or one year, technically, but... We might have to do it just because if we're going to uh, sign some guys to solely to trade, then we're going to have to do something cheaper for him. Okay, 18 mil. All right, we got to get back patch ready then. Okay, we're going to have to get back patch ready. Um, and I don't want to give him, no way I'm giving him six years. Like, no way. Four years I could do. Take him up till he's 34. That'd still be kind of movable as well. So, yeah. Four years, and then we can get him for like 6.5. Yeah, we can get him for 6.5 for four years. That's doable. Actually, maybe a bit less. 6.25. Yeah, we'll try that. 6.25 for four years. Uh, Edler. It'd be a sign to trade guy, so hold off on him. Lekkanen. Okay, we got to get back Lekkanen for sure. Let me see if this guy jumped... 
He does keep jumping up, so it looks like he will become like a top six guy at least, which is good. That's what we'll need. All right, so he only wants a year, which I'm inclined to do at this point because, again, we need to save money. So let's give him one year at 2.25. I might be able to get him for. We'll try that one year for 2.250. Bull you. How much are you going to want? Hopefully not much. Not too much. But we'll hold off because we don't need him. Gunnarsson, McCarron. Yeah, we got to get back McCarron for sure. Uh, same thing. I'm going to have to do one year for him as well. Because, again, we could sign him for longer after this. But right now, it's we're very... Uh, we're strapped right now. We got. I'm going to sign all the guys I know I want. Dano, same thing. One year. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, that's why. <laughs> I was like, wait a sec. Uh, might be able to get him for 2.5 for this price. I don't know. But we'll try. One year for 2.5 for Dano. Okay. Bowl you Gunnarsson holding off on. Uh, Terry, we'll have to hold off on him and Flynn as well. Lind, I want to get though because two-way. Yep, for sure. All right, we'll get him. Wow, man. 20 years old, 78 overall. He could be solid if we play him correctly. Yep. All right. Sure back. I'll sign as well because I, yeah. Oh, whoa. What are you doing, man? What are you, what are you, uh, hold off. <laughs> I, th I it, sh it does make sense. So he's probably around an 81, but his morale brings him down. It should be reset. Uh, debt. He's he actually should be a bit better too if his morale is bringing him down at all. So I might sign him if he wants a two way deal. I'll sign him. He does. Okay, I'll sign him then. Let him for the three three years as well. Yep. Uh, Bear, I'll get him back because he, he's green. Green's good. Green is definitely good. Even if it says AHL, they can get they can make a NHL with green. Uh, Buchek, not he's not like quite NHL, but whatever. We'll get him there. Or, I mean, AHL. Like, I like my AHLers to be 70. But uh, with how weak our AHL pool is going to be, we kind of need him. Leonov, same thing. Ooh, it says top six. You know what? I'll have to... I'll want to sign him just so I can play him. Yep. Let's do that. And that should... Yeah, just about it. We don't have too much to work with here. We're going to advance another day and then see what's going on. Let me check goalies real quick. Yeah, and Roth. Um... Spot starter, maybe if we choose these trade carry price, but we'll have to hold off on it just because we don't we don't know yet and we don't know how much he'll cost. So okay, um, Edler, Edler, Edler. Yeah, we get let's advance a day real quick. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to. We gotta see what we're working with because I think those guys might just put us right almost to the limit. In that case, we might just have to release a couple guys, which sucks, but whatever. It'll just have to, uh, McNair and uh, rejected. They all, re oh, Patrick, oh, they all freaking rejected. Oh, man. Oh, dead. Okay. Yeah, I tried to undercut him too much. Okay. Whatever. All right. Try, try it again. Try one more time. All right. So, yeah, I tried to undercut the younger guys a little too much, as well as Patrick. So, still 17 mil. Okay. What I was I trying to get it for like four years? I think four years was it yeah four years was it okay um i went i tried to go under 6.5 i believe yeah i tried to go i tried to go like 6.25 let's go to 6.5 for him now for four years there we go that'll give us like 10 mil to work with edler will have to hold off on dano one year for let's just do it 2.75 for all these guys and that would just have to give us an extra not even a mil so that's fine there we go <clears throat> excuse me dano Blecking in a year at just 2.5. I'll give it to him. I'll give it to him straight. 2.5. Uh, Bull, you hold off on McCarran. One year for 2.5 as well. There we go. All right. Unless I already tried to give him 2.5. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm messing up, but I thought I tried to undercut him. Whatever. If we do, I'll just try it again. Then I'll know. Uh, I think that was it. Uh, oh, yeah, sure back. Oh, yeah, I'm holding off on him because he wants a real deal. And that's a little weird. Well, I mean, not weird, but I mean, it's a little tough for us because, yeah. Alrighty, let's see here. Advance a day. Come back. No, he rejected. Patch ready. Were they all rejected? No, Dano and Lekin accepted, but Patch ready rejected again. So did, uh, what's his name? That's going to be tough, man. Stop rejecting me. 
I give good deals. Nobody gives as good as deals as I do. Let's go. All right, Patches. Playing hardball here, but I'll do it. 6.75. That should get him. No question that should get him. All right, and then we still have to get uh, McCarron because he wasn't happy. So I'll give... I'll. Yeah, maybe, okay, I think I'll just do 2.75, and he'll he'll sign for that, no problem. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, that's what I should have done. Yeah, derp. <laughs> I remember, yeah, I had a whole conversation with myself about why that was the correct price, and it would only it wouldn't even cost us an extra mil if we raised everyone up there that much. All right, there we go. I figured it out, guys. All right. <laughs> um, Adler, maybe. Uh, I, I do want to get something back for him, but, again, it's... Mm. I do want Bolu at least to hold on to. So you know what? I'm going to sign Bolu at least to hold on to. One year. Oh, yeah. Yeah. One year for... I won't be able to get him for three flat, but I can get him for 3.25. Easy. For one year. There we go. And then Terry. All these guys. We're going to hold off on Terry and Flynn. Sheer back. I really want to get back. Yeah. I'm just going to do it. One year for one mil. All right. I want you back, Sheer back. I want Sheer back. Ha, ha, ha. All right. Um, <laughs> let's see here. That should get everyone right there. Come on now. Okay. Got McCarron. Got Pacioretty. Got Bolu. Sheer back rejected. Not quite enough. Okay. And it says last day, but I'm going to check the calendar and when make fun of it because it's not. See? Fucking liars, dude. Oh, the second to last day. That's why it fucked me up last time. Assholes. All right. <laughs> so, uh, no, no to you guys. If it ever says this is your last day, it's bullshit. All right, so four mil left to work with. I don't think we'll be able to get Edler for that at all. There's no way we can get Edler. Like, if we try to get him. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> I say that. We would have to get him for three years. That's ridiculous. Get him for three years. I mean, it's movable. I can still move him, but... Oof, three years though. If we can't move him, like for some reason. But then we can't sign Sheer back. But at the same time, once we start moving guys, we can move move for Sheer back again. You know what? I might be able to pull that. I might be able to pull that. I really might be able to. I really might be able to get that. Except Sherback's gonna want a little over a mil, so yeah, I don't think I'd be able to move it down to three mil. I would have to wait on Sherback. You know what I'm gonna do though? I'm going to qualify sure back. And if we can get some form, we can get some form. We can always trade for him again. But I would rather... Okay, now here's my logic on this. If I could sign Edler, he'll be worth more, even for trading, than sure back will. We could always get sure back again, like through trading or something like that. Or if he doesn't get signed, we still have the rights to him to sign him after we start making moves. So I think that might be the better option here. See what we can grab Edler for and then qualify. What's his name? Now, yeah, I, I'll have to sign with this. I would have to sign with this and pray he signs for like this this price for four mil. I, I would have to do that and then try to move him. It's a cheap contract. It will be movable. Win now teams will want him and it's a pretty cheap contract. Four mil for that kind of player. I don't know if he'll accept, but we're going to try that. And we're going to, I think we're just going to qualify. You know, I'm not going to qualify him yet. I'm going to see, because we still have a day left. I'm going to see if he signs again. Or if he, you know what I'm saying. And yeah, again, we also have, uh, what's his name? That we're not, we're not going to be able to sign Enroth. Unless we want to make a choice to sign Enroth. Oh man, he's pretty cheap too. You know, I'm going to see if Edler goes for this. Because he's very tradable. And then we'll see. We'll see uh, if, if, he, if, he, if he doesn't accept us, then there's nothing more we can do. And then we'll have to sign everyone else. No, he rejected. Okay. So I don't think he'll, we'll be able to get Edler back. That's just not in the cards. Um, that's that's as, as much as we were able to offer him, basically. And he's not going to want to come back. So that's all right. Edler, he's getting, he'll, he'll he's taken off. So that's okay. Um, we can get Gunnarsson back. We can get other guys. So Edler, I appreciate your service. You did great for us. Helped us win that cup. But you are off to, to make a new life for yourself. See, so yeah, some people are going to lose some morale. But it just had to Again... I would rather have Duchesne to trade away than Edler or like, you know, what something else. So now we could sign Shear back for sure. So one year at 1.5. Uh, actually, I want to make sure I get him. So there we go. We'll just do that. 
He'll probably sign for that, but again, I just don't want to take a chance. Um, since he's a little unhappy, we could sign that. We could sign Enroth. I will want to get Enroth for sure. One year for 1.5. That should get him. There we go. All right, and... Oh, uh, yeah, back to contracts. My bad. I'm, still, I'm just trying to go over here. Uh, what's his name? Where's uh, Gunnarsson? I want Gunnarsson back. The other guys can... I don't care. But Gunnarsson will get for one year. Three years? Get out of here. What? What are you doing, man? What are you talking about? What are you talking... I'll get him for two because I'll take him up to least 34. We need a placeholder for defense for sure. Yeah, we'll need placeholders. So, all right. Uh, what the fucking three mil for a year, though, Gunnarsson? You're declining, man. You're already declining. Uh, how much do we got? Yeah, we should. No, we should, we, we'll be able to get him. I think. Actually, not too sure. All right, well, Terry, and what's his name? Unless they want two ways. He doesn't want a two-way, does he? He does, actually. You know, he wants a two-way, so I can get him. Yep, Terry and Flynn will get to two ways. There we go. What are you doing? Too much. There we go. All right, and... Uh, yeah, you know what? We'll sign Gunnarsson to the, uh... Ugh. I don't want to sign him to three years, but I might actually... For the price, all right. I'm just let me let me do some quick math here. We offered what 1.5, then we offered 1.25. Yeah. Hmm. No, we can get him. Yeah, we can get him. All right, there we go. I think. No, no, I, I suck at math. All right, yeah, 1.5. That's three. No, it's two. Yeah, yeah. No, ooh, that is very close though. I might not be able to get him. Even for this amount, I'd have to. Uh, yeah, because we got three mil. If I if you just take the mil, as you got three mil, then you had 0. 0.5 and 0. 0.25. That I'd only be able to give this guy 1.25. So I might have to get him to three mil just to be able to get or the three years just to be able to get him for that price. And then we'll have to make some moves, which I don't like that for this guy because his potentials like already wrecked. I could find no, I could freaking find someone else, man. I'm not taking that risk on Gunnarsson. I mean, he's good and everything. Let me check his stats. Yeah, he's good. Like that's why. But like at the same time, we could find. Uh, I, I would rather get Enroth and Sure back back for sure than take a chance on Gunnarsson. So you know what? We can always sign someone else in free agency. So we'll do that. Duchesne lost the morale. Sucks. But we're going to trade you, man. All right. I think that takes care of everything. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I just didn't want to make the uh, make the thing of like it will it'll prioritize someone over someone. And like all of a sudden we don't sign one of those guys, which would kind of suck. So we got Flynn. Yep. And yep. All right. There we go. So there we go. All right. Um. Here we go. And now we're in free agency. And we have like a mil plus to work with. No, not even that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 0.475. Oh, yeah. Because they bring. That's right. They bring guys up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah. We wouldn't be able to get them anyway. I was thinking that. Yeah. Anyway. What I was thinking just wouldn't have worked. Okay. So, here's free agency. A lot of. Wow. I've never seen Oliver Ekman Larson in free agency. That's incredible. That's that's ridiculous. Why is he? Okay. Uh, the Pretty big free agency this year. And we contributed by putting it. Edler in there and um what the fuck why is Sam Bennett in here that's cr this is craziness right now there's craziness going on here oh he's tendered yeah he's tendered anyway so anyway there's some craziness going on we can't even sign anyone else um but if you are right, and I'll show you why we'll probably just have to rebuild um and you guys will obviously be able to uh, you guys have to chime in and stuff like that but let me show you what our team's gonna look like it's not going to be horrible, but again, losing Edler, we don't have too much. Let's see if anyone did jump um, in this gap, but I don't think they will. I think they jump in after this free agent, after main free agency. Yeah, they probably do. Um, anyway, yeah, let's look at main roster here. Forwards. All right, so got Channing, Pacioretty, Duchesne, Radulov. We still have Radulov. Um, then Gallagher and Skinner. So our top six is, is the same. Then we got Hudon, Deno, Lekkinen. So he did jump a tiny bit. That might be just morale. Hopefully he gets another big jump. Um, then McCarron, Boyle, and yeah, we got some other guys here. So we still have good forward core. Forward core, that's not an issue, but the issue is when it comes to defense. 
<laughs> when it comes to defensemen, we don't fucking have anyone. Um, because again, we we that's how we kind of set in the system. We got circuit. Oh, Yulson's ready. So one, two, one, two, three, four. So we have a defensive core, but that's nowhere near championship level. And again, you just you. The way we've seen it perform, you need a decent defensive cord even to help out a 94 overall goaltender. So I don't see us defending our title. Like, I, sure, we could go for it, but we're just prolonging the inevitable, I think, at that point. But let me know what you guys think anyway. Um, you know, we could have Enroth as a spot starter uh, during the rebuild. Um, he's got a few years left in him. You know, maybe if we make the playoffs, he'll, his poise will give us a bit of a run, but I doubt it. I doubt we'll even make the playoffs. He'll just spot start for us if we're going to move Carey Price immediately, which I think should be, yeah. He's got a few years left, I mean, but we don't want to hold on to him for that long, I don't think. If we're going to rebuild, we got to rebuild and go all. Like, we. I, that's, my, that's my thing. You guys know me. Um, if you've been watching me for a while, I don't like to half-ass things. If you half-ass stuff, then, I mean, what's the point of doing it? You're not... You know, you're, you know, you're not giving yourself a real chance here. So we, if like we went all in with the with the win now, it worked. I think if we're gonna rebuild, we gotta go all in. We gotta move. Duchesne, Weber, Price, uh, Radulov, Gallagher. We can hold on to Skinner. We can hold on to for a bit, but again, you're kind of pushing it with those guys. So let me know. Those are kind of eh. I'm not sure. We gotta keep Galchenyuk. Patch ready again. For, I know he's 30, but for, it's for the sake of he's a power forward. He could play in the depth later. We did get him for four years. It'll take, I don't know. He's the captain. I don't know. You guys You guys let them know. But again, uh, coming back to my own thing, maybe I, that'd be half-assing get holding on to him. But he's not like a terrible player by any means. I, I, I kind of almost want someone to help out Galchenyuk, you know. I don't know. But if we did move him, yeah. Not too sure. So you guys let me know. I think everyone pretty much that we need to trade will be traded. Weber, Duchesne, we have to because we're not going to be able to afford. Well, that's too much money in our forward core, um, which sounds weird. But at the same time, it, may, it does make sense because our even our depth guys, this guy's playing fourth line. I don't I don't sign someone for almost three mil to play fourth line. That's, that's just not, even Boyle signed almost that much. You know what I mean? So... It's, I would rather build the team how I can, how I build it and, uh, then bring us back to that cup area. And, uh, right now we got too much locked into, into different guys. You know what I mean? So, and that's uh, for the, this, this like eight mils, almost too much for one defenseman, man. That's, I don't spend that for one defenseman. I'm not a guy who goes out and get like 95s and calls it a day. I'm more, I, I like the guys who hover around 90 and build a stacked team, you know, with better all around anyway. But, um. You guys let me know. I think that's the direction we need to go. We, I don't think it's, I don't think we could try to defend the title. And uh, I think the rebuild just needs to happen or else we're just prolonging the inevitable and we won't be able to duplicate what we did last year because last year was magic. And uh, yeah. All right, guys. So let me know what you guys think. This is a bit of a long video, but whatever. I will see you guys in the next one. The rebuild has got to happen.